Today we're going to be building a Weber Spirit E315 liquid propane. First course of action is to get everything out of the box. And all the garbage is back inside the box in order to ensure you're working out of a clean, clean workspace. All right, so we're gonna start with the wheels first. You can see in here, two wheels have a lock on them, and two wheels do not. This is the front of the barbecue, you can tell by this little circle for the door. The two wheels with the locks go at the front. The two ones without the locks go at the back. All right. start by securing all the wheels. All right, now that we have the wheels situated on the base, We can put the side walls on now. You can tell which one goes on which side because of this. This is for the door at the front. This is the front of the barbecue with this little circle right here. Start them by hand. Once you get all six screws in, do the same for the other side. All right, so once you have both side walls in, we're gonna put the back wall in now. The back wall gets installed with the little circle closest to the base. Four screws. Once the back wall and the side walls are in, you can tighten everything. Next are these guys. This one goes at the front with this little indent here. This one without the indent goes at the back. You're gonna wanna put in only the bottom one on either side of the front. For the back one, this little lip is closest to the base. So we get installed like that at the back. Four screws, all four screws. Next, we're gonna install the grease tray holder. This little lip gets inserted into that little square there. That and two screws will secure it.
Bag number C will mount the gas tank holder. You can see a difference in these screws. One is longer than the other. The longer one, there's two of them, are to hold the gas tank holder. The gas tank holder, you can see here, full and empty, has to be installed like this, not like this. It's upside down, so it has to be installed like that. These two black knobs get installed on the inside of here. All right, now the base is ready. You can come down off the box and we can install the barbecue on it. Now we're gonna perform the lift, the barbecue into the stand. Sure all the hoses and wires go inside the barbecue. And your hose goes into this little indent here. Ensure the wire is going through this portion right here, not this portion. We want it to go through here. In order to secure the barbecue to the stand, we use these self-tightening washers to secure them. They go in right here. The hose takes a screw out the side here. That, and you secure the hose. Next is our front panel. Ensure that the wire gets fed through the same little crevice here as the other wire. These clips here will accept the lip of the front panel. Two screws will secure the front panel right under here which is why we left the top one open before. These three screws will get inserted right here to further secure the panel. module you can see here plus means that the positive side of the battery is going to be towards the, the outside here like that connect up your wires these two screws will come in from the outside to secure the module like that. These two plastic clips are used to hold the wire in place out of the way. Gets inserted one there, and one there, and just push the wires into the clips once they're secure. Next is your tray. Just get them inserted in the barbecue like that, and then the drip tray. Like 
Next are your burner covers. Go on top of the burner. Next, we can install the heating rack. Then your knobs. All right, next we're gonna install the side wings onto the barbecue. One side wing has these two knobs here, and the other one does not, so we're ensure that it's facing the front of the barbecue. It's for hanging utensils off of. In order to uh, install, the side wing, we insert it on. We use these brackets. As such. And then we secure those brackets and side wings with, with lock nuts. You need a 7 16th socket to secure them. And do the same for the other side. Last is the door that we're gonna install. First, we need to install the handle on the door. Put it on the table like that. These plastic guys go in the holes first. The screws go in next. Hold your handle underneath the door. As such. This little plastic piece provides as the bottom hinge for the door. So put this in first into that little circle we talked about before. Bottom in first. That's a little spring mechanism pushed down. I will lock into place like that. And that is how you build a Weber E315 liquid propane. Thanks.